I'm going to show you how quickly you can exploit a simple vulnerability on a simple outdated system or a server or a computer, whatever you're really trying to get into, you can exploit easily and how hackers do it within seconds. First thing they do is just do a little simple nmap scan or a basically scanning the computer for information or a port that's open. Now, but this isn't enough. We need to do a little bit more. And this is great. This is golden. We're in business. Let's go. All we need to do is just to find that a simple exploit or a vulnerability or some information. All we need to do is just my search exploit. 133C. And as you can see, there's a backdoor command execution, which is another <laughs> great, awesome. This is so easy. Load that bad boy up and let's get some hacking. Right, so we know that there is a backdoor command execution and the version that we're exploiting is ProFTPD133C. So we need to do it just like the same thing. Right, use zero, show options, put some credentials in, so our hosts, since we know the IP address, set, payload, CMD Unix reverse, show options again, set L host ETH0, show options just to make sure we have everything. And as soon as this is done, all we need to type in is the secret command, which is exploit. And in three seconds, what's gonna happen is something that we all want to do is hack, like a real anonymous hacker. And as soon as you see this command, which is, oh sorry, the output command shell one session open if you type in id or who am I. Wow, <laughs> we rue, we don't have to do anything else, we don't need to do the privilege escalation, we're in the system, right? And if you type in shell, we have managed to successfully interact or hack into the system. Now what we can do is anything we want, we can create another user, we can copy the shadow file, we can hack the passwords, we can make this a botnet, we can do whatever you want. It's really, now it's up to me what I can do with the server. I can mine crypto if it's strong enough, okay, I can make some money off it, right? But what we can do is create another user. And I actually have another user. If you go to cat etc password file, it actually shows you there's a user, Griffin. Wow. So I have hacked this machine before, I didn't know. So now if I try to log in through SSH, SSH at Griffin at the password and type in admin. Oh, the password. I cannot remember the password. Give me a second. However, for hackers, passwords are not a problem at all. And what we can do is we can use Hydra in this case. So we're going to use just Hydra. Hydra L Griffin. And we're going to use our favorite word lists. And we're going to type in the IP address. And if you press enter in 123. Bam, we have found the password, and now we can successfully SSH and connect to this machine directly. So if you just type in SSH Griffin again and type in the password, wow, I'm a user within the machine. Yes, I don't have any administrator rights, but that's not a problem at all. I can give myself administrative rights as well, because we have root access, and I ain't a problem. And the thing is, I can upload some malware and at the end of the day I can just delete the user and guess what, no one will even know that anything has happened. Now how do you prevent this from happening? All you need to do is just make sure that you update your machine because as you can see this is a 16.4 Ubuntu machine. That is I'm pretty sure a couple years out of date. It's been not updated for ages and also it has a vulnerable FTP version which if you install something make sure that you have it up to date and also make sure that it doesn't have any direct vulnerabilities like remote code execution, backdoor, anything that could basically be exploited. Even DDoS is no good because it can get you down and that's bad for business as well. So make sure that you update all the time, have automatic updates and stay safe. Now, if you would like to learn how to hack just like me and you would like to learn a bit more detailed hacking and may possibly make some money with it by doing bug bounty or possibly work for a company and obviously learn hacking because hacking is very fun. Make sure to check out my hacking course which will be in the description below.